Hi, I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and welcome to my quilt block series. In each of these videos I'm going to show you how to make a different block and they're all going to measure 12 inches. I hope you like this video, if you do click the like button and please let me know in the comment section below what other videos you'd like me to make. Let's get quilting. This is my quilt block notebook and it's available on Amazon. The links are in the comment section below. And if you click on the link above, it'll take you to my video all about it. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the Old Maid's Puzzle Quilt Block. This will make a 12 inch block and is the improvers version. I've made two Old Maid's Puzzle quilt blocks. The red version is for beginners and uses half square triangles, whereas the green version is for improvers and uses the shaded four patch. As you can see, the two versions do look different. I think the green version has a smoother appearance because there are less seams in it. This is the video for the improvers version of the Old Maid's Puzzle Block. If you want to make the beginners version, click on the link above and it will take you to that video. And if you'd like to know how to use this block in a quilt, please watch to the end of this video where I've got some illustrations to show you how to use it. You will need two four and a half inch squares in background fabric, two three and a half by four and a half inch rectangles, and six three and a half inch squares. In fabric A, you will need one six and a half by seven and a half inch square. And in fabric B, you will need two four and a half inch squares. Making the half square triangles. Use the four and a half inch squares in background fabric and fabric B. Draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the four and a half inch background fabrics. As shown here. Pin right sides together. Sew a quarter inch seam away from the drawn line on both sides of the drawn line. Cut along the drawn line. as shown here. Trimming the half square triangles with a speciality ruler. I use the Quilt in a Day Triangle Square Up Ruler by Eleanor Burns. Keep the half square triangle folded as shown. Line the stitch line with a three and a half inch mark on the ruler. Trim along the sides of the ruler. As shown here. Trim the dog ears. Trimming the half square triangles with a standard ruler. Press the half square triangle open. Lay under the ruler with the diagonal seam under the 45 degree mark on the ruler. 
Line the bottom and left sides at just more than three and a half inches. Trim along the right and top sides. Turn the unit round, lining up the diagonal and the bottom and left sides at exactly three and a half inches. Trim along the top and right sides as shown. Repeat to make four half square triangles. Making the corner shaded four patch. Using fabric B six and a half by seven and a half inch, two background fabrics three and a half by four and a half inch, and two fabric A's three and a half by three and a half inches. Pin background fabric and fabric A right sides together along the matching edge. Sew with a quarter inch seam, press towards the dark fabric and make two units. Lay the units next to each other as shown. Pin right sides together and sew with a quarter inch seam. as shown here. Open up and snip the seam as shown. Press the seams in opposite directions. Line the 45 degree line on the ruler along the edge of the unit. and line the edge of the ruler along the 45 degree line on the cutting mat. The ruler should pass through the seam intersection. Draw a line on the wrong side of the unit along the edge of the ruler. Turn the unit round and repeat on the other side. Pin right sides together to fabric A and sew on top of the drawn lines. As shown here. Cut a quarter inch away from both of the drawn lines. As shown. Press seam towards the large triangle. Adding the corner, use the three and a half inch square in background fabric. Draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of the three and a half inch square in background fabric. As shown here. Pin the square in the corner with the line as shown. Sew on top of the drawn line. Cut a quarter inch away from the sewn line. As shown here.
press seam towards the small triangle and re repeat to make two more two units. Block layout. Place the unit in the block design. Pin the half square triangles to the squares as shown. Then make into four patches. As shown here. Return to block layout. Pin the two halves together and sew with a quarter inch seam. Return to the block layout and press seams towards the large triangles. Pin the columns together, nesting the seams and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. And if you want to know how to get perfect points on your quilt blocks, click on the link above to take you to my video on this. Return to the block layout and press the seams open. Congratulations, you have made the Old Maid's Puzzle Quilt Block for Improvers. Here are some quilt options. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block. There is no sashing or borders, but the use of the white background fabric in a block allows the design and fabrics to stand out. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block placed on point. There is no sashing or borders, but you would need to add blocks in background fabric in between the blocks shown here with the stars and use setting triangles around the edges again shown here with the stars. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block but with sashing, cornerstones and borders. And finally this is an illustration of a sampler quilt using some of the blocks from this quilt block series. The sashing in this quilt is in the white background fabric. The cornerstones and border is in a darker fabric to pop and frame the quilt. Want to learn more? Watch another one of my videos from the Quilt Block series. Click above to go to my playlist. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. More of these videos will be posted, so please tune in. Thank you for watching and bye for now.